His wasn't torture, but his was neglect. He lived his whole life on the end of a six-foot leash underneath a mobile home. He was um, 18 months old when I got him. He had a personality like no other Amstaff or pit bull I had ever rescued had. He was keenly attached to my children and to my grandchild. Uh, my grandchild at the time was about two when we got Ace, and he just protected her at every cost. I live on a house literally surrounded by a thousand acres. When you're standing on my, on my piece of property for as far as you can see in 360 degrees, it's nothing but corn and woods. I was rushed to get to an appointment and I had to take my granddaughter with me. And I was trying to maneuver a car seat into the back seat of a two-door car. And she, she said to me, my granddaughter, she said, oh, Momma, can I? get out while you fix this and I said sure get out and let me get this into the car not paying any attention she wandered off obviously I instantly panicked she's probably in a cornfield and in July the corn is about six feet tall it's not possible to find a two and a half year old in the cornfield I'm screaming and I'm not getting any answer from Lainey. It's been about 17 to 25 minutes that's transpired that I can't find her. So when the fire department arrives, I'm just crazy. I'm trying to talk to the fire department and the dog was going crazy, Ace. It was just so out of character for him and I couldn't think and I myself was so upset that I, just for some reason, just reached over and opened the crate, hoping that he would go outside or something. And instead of going out the back door where he was crated in the kitchen, he ran around into the living room and jumped on the sofa and pushed the screen out and headed instantly in the direction that he knew that Lainey was. I, I didn't know that Lainey had gone in that direction. I think there was maybe four or five of us that had kind of tried to walk a straight line through the cornfield in a direction we thought she might have gone. And the closer we got, we could hear a barking, but it wasn't a, a frantic bark. When the, chief, the fire chief arrived, Ace was sitting on Lainey's lap barking. And she was found, they say they figured it was almost a half a mile from the house in the cornfield. And Ace had never been, Ace wasn't a search and rescue dog. He had never done anything. He just knew that, he instinctively knew that I was upset and that there was something wrong with Lainey. And he went and saved her. When we brought her home and they were inseparable. After the situation was resolved and Lainey was home safe and Ace was back, the fire chief, he said to me that that Ace changed his mind about the breed forever. So that's the story of Ace.